Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. And we're moving on to the next dynasty here, the Shang Dynasty. And we've moved away from the tutorial missions of the Xia Dynasty. So let's see here. City States of Shang. The end of 400 years of Xia rule resulted in the rise of the Shang Dynasty. During this period, powerful warlord kings used wise seers to predict the future, based on interpretations of cracks in fire heated oracle bones. Many of these predictions were then etched into bones, planting the seed for a written language. Elaborate bronze wares were cast and used during important ceremonies to pay homage to ancestors and heroic figures. Take this path to walk in the footsteps of the Shang. Alright, so it sounds good, so let's go ahead and proceed to the first mission in the Shang Dynasty. During the time of the Xia, our people learned the art of farming and settled along the fertile banks of the northern rivers. But the self-indulgent kings of Xia grew fat and lazy with power and lost touch with their subjects. Cities attacked cities and barbarians burned our fields. But the people were not forgotten by all. For in the distant province of Xiang, a bold new leader, Tang, came forth and vanquished the pitiful Xiao. The victorious banners of the Shang now flutter in the breeze over the capital at Xiang. To strengthen his base of power, our new king wishes that new towns be established. It is for this important endeavor that you have been appointed. Build a new settlement at Bo. Fill the town larders with meat and millet, and the noble Tang will see to it that the settlers arrive. Do not be surprised, however, if you receive a few requests from Xiang for some handcrafted ceramics. Alright, well, looks like we've got start of a dynasty here. City-states of Shang. 600 people in spacious dwellings of better and produce 12 crates of ceramics in one year. Okay, we can do that. Uh, difficulty level is very hard, so we do have to keep in mind our money because starting on very hard, uh, you start with less money. So let's go ahead to the city. And, oh look at that, pause straight away. This is the first mission because it's not a tutorial mission to have uh, some dialogue box pop open. So let's see what we got here. We got pheasants, uh, nice big open spaces. Uh, these rocks do sort of mess things up, but it's okay. And I don't think we'll be crossing this river anytime soon. It seems to be saying we should start around this area here. Let's have a look at our resources. We got farmhouse and hemp farm. We can grow millet and hemp, okay. We can build hunter's tents. And we got clay pits and kilns, okay. Shops we're talking about. Food, hemp, ceramics, okay. Entertainment, just music, no dances. And let's have a look at religion. We've got two neglected gods, Nuwa and Shen Nong. We gotta keep an eye on those. And we just got gardens and residential walls, okay. So, looking at the setup here, um, these rocks sort of mess up things, so I don't want to build a residential block there. Perhaps it would be better to... Ooh, I want to have some farmland. This looks like a nice row for farms. Then maybe I can build a residential block somewhere here, and then have the industry down this side. For 600 people, you don't need a lot of, uh, a lot of people, so... It should be okay. Uh, one other thing we have to keep in mind is uh, Feng Shui, because uh, I have been challenged to get 100% Feng Shui on every mission, so none of these buildings on the yellow plots like that. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a residential block here. Farms can go down here, and industry can go to the right. And that should work out quite nicely. Okay, we're gonna set it up and see how it looks. Okay, here we go, I've set it up, and as you can see, I've got a row of farms over here. There's a hemp farm there, two millet farms, and another hemp farm here. The game's still paused, I haven't put down the crops. So this road down here is gonna be all the farms and industry going along here. And I'm focusing on farming for now rather than hunting, because I think the yields are gonna be much better with farms. Uh, so then the, my residential block is here, and I've put down a herbalist salt, and I put the market there. And the reason why it's so close to this road is because um, the feng shui didn't allow it to go a bit further. I wanted to leave a gap of two, but I just couldn't move it any further without getting bad feng shui. You can see here, everything is still very green, so th that's a challenge there. But I surrounded it with these residential walls, so that the market does not give off any bad desirability. And ooh, I forgot to put down an ancestral shrine, which I should put down somewhere. Um, I guess I just could stick it 
over here, I guess. Yeah, that should be fine. Because if I could evolve these buildings over here to be the next level through desirability, they send out two walkers instead of one. Alright, so let's unpause the game. Let people move in. Uh huh. Some things might catch fire because, uh. Um. Let's see, uh, I, I should uh, put safety up to very high. Make sure safety is employed straight away so that these inspectors towers can start going around and make sure things don't burn down. So there we go. Get people moving in. We still got a bit of cash. Uh, I should probably put down uh, gardens in the middle here. It only costs 168 and it'll make sure all these houses do evolve properly. So there we go. Uh, inspectors going around, making sure nothing burns to the ground. And, ooh, forgot to put down my crops. Uh, let's go ahead and put down the millet fields. There we go. And another one here. Did I build that too close? I built it too close. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four. Millet fields can do four rows? Oh, wait, no, this is... It's, it's overlapped from this side, okay. It, it's only three. I got confused there for a bit. And the hemp fields can go... There, and here. There we go. Which rem reminds me, I need to put down a warehouse for that hemp. Uh, got a hundred people, good. Now where's good feng shui for a warehouse? Uh, this is not so good. Um, there's nowhere with good feng shui. What do warehouses like? I'm not too sure, but I'm, I'm running out of cash. Oh, wow. Uh, I didn't realize putting down those crops would cost so much. Um, how's my employment going? Um, okay, so I gotta have a look at trade options here. We got Xiang. I can't talk to Xiang at all, damn. Okay. Um, this is gonna be uncomfortable, uh, but I gotta get that warehouse down. Um, so I'm gonna try to put down a warehouse and get my ceramics industry going because I think that's the only way we're gonna make money. So I better get that going. Ah, there we go. Xiang has grown into a significant city and is ready to interact with the world. Okay, good. Let's go to our trade map. Xiang is there. Let's, uh... I guess I have to give a gift of cash. 500 strings of cash? I'm gonna go into debt to set up my ceramics industry, aren't I? Um, there's no other way. I can't... Can I open trade with the city straight away? Without giving them the cash? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try request to open trade with the city and see if I can do that without giving them cash because I gotta set up ceramics and uh, that's gonna be difficult. But uh, either way, I should probably spend my money setting up ceramics because um, uh, I can always give them ceramics as a gift. Okay, so you can see I had to build a warehouse down there for feng shui purposes. So it's not ideal, is it? But um, let's see, I'm gonna leave space for a warehouse there. And then we're gonna need some kilns. So kilns are gonna... Where's the good feng shui? Over on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna set up my ceramics industry down here. Probably have to get rid of these trees. And uh, see if we can actually bring ourselves out of debt. Ah, there we go. Xiang proposed that we begin trading with each other. It could be beneficial for both of us. Perfect. So you can request a trade without giving them cash. Now, as you can see, I've set up my ceramics industry down there, but you can see I need 113 workers. So I decided to put this down because I needed it to be there before I ran out of cash. The, the credit limit here is 2,000. So, but... I know I'm gonna get people when I evolve these houses with food. So what I did was, in the industry, I set uh, safety to very high, agriculture to high, and religion just to high, just to make sure it's four people, it doesn't make much difference. So agriculture is fully staffed, which means I will get a full, or well, as best as possible, uh, crop yield. It also allows hemp to be made. You can see here, this hemp, it's a bit far from the warehouse, but... Um, they, they can ship it over a bit at a time. I mean, they have the whole year before they have to start making hemp again. So, we're getting hemp, uh, some in there, and we can start trading with Xiang, which is gonna buy perfect hemp and ceramics. Ah, good, we, we can sell both of those. So let's go ahead and go to the commerce tab, uh, trading stations, Xiang, put it next to this warehouse, because things tend to go from the warehouse to the trading station, and I'm gonna sell Hemp and ceramics as much as possible. 12 out of 12? Okay, good. So I'm not sure... It seems like... 
these two hemp farms produced uh, a total of, I think it's four, four, considering their shipping. So I think I got eight uh, units of, uh, four, four units of hemp from each farm, which means I could probably set up another hemp farm, which uh, would be good. Let's see, farm, hemp farm. Can I actually fit it here? One, two, three. I could fit it here. Do I want to fit it here? Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and do that. And we can build the road there and get more hemp going. There we go. So next year we'll have even more hemp, uh, which should uh, supply as much as possible uh, to our exports because that's kind of what we need right now. Um, you can see my industry is all not employed at all. I'm really waiting for this millet supply to come in so I can feed my people and then get the uh, get the, the, the ceramics going and make more money. But you can see we're starting to sell the hemp. He bought, did he bought, buy all of it? I'm Where is he? He bought four. Yeah, okay, good. So, that's good. A bit more hemp is coming in, but... Uh, did we only produce four units? Four, five, six, seven. I think we only got seven units of hemp total. Uh, so these three hemp farms should be able to maximize our exports for the year. And there we go, the millet is coming in. Look at all that harvesting going on. And, uh-oh. Uh the mill has no employees. Um, okay. Let's do a bit of a... Uh, uh, playing around with people here. So, commerce is where... Okay, now that they're not farming, I can turn down agriculture, set commerce to high, and that will get the mill fully working, so we can get... There we go. All the food in, I can put down a food shop, feed my people, come on. There we go, plenty of food for the first round. And the hemp is just sort of keeping us away from maximum credit. But there we go, food's coming in, people can move in, and we will then get uh, enough people to work. Is it gonna evolve? There we go. Extra room for eight on each of these houses. Perfect. And these houses aren't evolving, I'm not sure. Is it worth putting down a couple gardens like that, just to make sure the houses evolve? I think it is. Uh, oh, the new year has arrived, but we have no entertainers. There we go. Things evolve nicely. And need more food to feed these people. This first feeding is always going to be difficult. Uh, because we need a big supply of food, which is... Well, if we get enough people, I would set up some hunting camps. Uh, let's see. Desired quality, I want to keep it on bland food for now. Make sure they only use one type of food. Yes, I think I need to put in some hunting camps. The first feeding has gone well. We have a bit of extra millet. Uh, stock 723. I think it'll last a year. Yeah, I think I think it'll be okay. Okay, so now people are moving in and employment is gonna go back to normal. So you can see that messing around with the workforce allocation can really get you out of trouble to make sure the right things are prioritized. And you can see my ceramics industry is now uh, getting back on track. Oh, what's this? Uh, Greetings, Gimzak I Do One of Xiang. I'm willing to buy more bales of hemp from your city. It is truly amazing just how quickly my city goes through its supply. Wait, how much more? 24 units? Wow, okay. Um, I guess we should set up another hemp farm then. Uh, we should actually, they, they double the amount they can buy. Should we set up three more hemp farms? It takes a lot of people. Um, I guess I should just set up one more hemp farm and see if we can. Uh, do it. Uh, I can put one right there, actually. Okay, I'm gonna set up this one more hemp farm, and... Let's see, that should be good. Hemp, we can go there. We can fit one more field in the corner there. There we go. So we just lost one field because of this rocks, but no problem there. So we're producing a lot of hemp. These are four hemp farms, but it's sort of gonna be our main export. So it, it's sort of important. How's our employment doing? 82 workers needed. And my credit is almost hitting its max. So, uh, food supply also has sort of run out. Um, let's see, industry... I think, uh, yeah, in times of no farming, I'm gonna set agriculture to low to make sure production of ceramics is at its max. But farming for hemp has just started, damn it. Um, 
Okay, how, how do I do this? Can I turn off buildings? Okay, uh, when is the millet season? Next season begins in July, May, June, July. So what I can do is I can turn these to not working and set agriculture back up and commerce back down. So it's a bit more even. Uh, safety we need high, religion is nothing, so... Okay, so in July, I have to turn these farms back on uh, so I can get my food supply. Currently, there's a stock of 600 food. That should last a year. Yeah, that, that should be fine. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, it's July, and let's go ahead and turn our farms back on. Which means our, yeah, our workers are not doing so well. We're in debt for so long, we gotta get out of debt. Um, I think in this time I have to prioritize agriculture to maximize my hemp and food. Um, and I can turn down... No, I need... I can set this mill to not working. Can I not set it to not working? Why can't I turn the mill off? What's that button do? Oh, just set things that don't accept. Um, but we still need them accepting. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still short by workers. Perhaps I really have to squeeze in more houses. Let's just... Uh, Get these houses down, I guess. Oh, not that last one. Okay, so that's the maximum number of houses I can put down with good feng shui. Uh, I suppose that's the best I can do. That hopefully will get us out of debt. Uh, yeah, people are clamoring for their wages. Um, my popularity is going to drop if I can't pay people. And a fire has broken out. Okay, that's not so good. I'm gonna have to move this inspector's tower. What? Xiang is asking for three crates of ceramics, but I'm massively in debt. Um, I, I can't. Uh, but Xiang is my trade partner. Ah, uh, well... And this is on fire. Uh, okay, well the hemp supplies are coming in. These three hemp farms should drop stuff off very quickly, and I don't know if this is enough hemp to get me out of debt. But it's a lot more hemp than last year. So let's see if selling all this hemp will actually get me back into the white for my money. I have enough to dispatch. Should I? Ah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to dispatch it just to keep them happy. Okay, there we go. That is a lot of hemp coming in. Uh, so hopefully the trade is coming in. Let's see, we're selling... I want to sell a maximum of 24, just grab it all. Okay, there we go, we have... 1,400 units of hemp. Hemp's not worth all that much, but... It definitely is required. Okay, here's another caravan, buying more hemp. Okay, so... It, it does help a lot. I'm not sure if I'm producing enough to max out the year. Let's put this kiln back in. Okay, and I moved the inspector's tower over there. So, employees, uh, with these houses moved back in, we do have a uh, much better outlook. Food has run out. Um, so, that's not so good. Uh, probably because I had to do a bit of a first feeding on some of these houses there. But if they don't get food soon, these houses are going to devolve. Which, ah, good thing it's the harvest season. Good. And, yeah. So let's make sure the harvest goes well. Come on, grab the food. Okay, so we're still feeding our people, okay. Oh, because you caved into my demands that you send three crates of ceramics, I think more highly of you than I did before. Okay, good. Now, before something bad happens... Religion. Nuwa and Shenlong are unhappy. But I don't have anything to give them. Oh, no. Uh, well, I hope I can go one more year without them being too unhappy. But we should be able to- okay. We got some ceramics and hemp to sell. Come on, traders, get me back into the white. Hopefully this is the last year where things are actually not going so well. Uh, but now that it's no longer farming season, I can lower on agriculture employment. Boost my ceramics production. 
Oh no, Xiang is now asking for seven crates of ceramics. Uh, do I have enough? I've sold enough for the for the year. Okay, good. So once we get seven crates of ceramics in, we can actually send it off. Okay, so Xiang, you can have those seven crates of ceramics. Uh, fulfill City's request. There you go. Dispatch. Good. Because I actually upped my ceramics production by one more clay pit and two more kilns. So we can actually do that. And it's farming season again. And since we have actually maxed out on selling for ceramics for this year, let's, uh, yeah, I put agriculture back to high priority for employment. So we can boost our hemp production and our food production. And last year, we actually did have five units of hemp surplus. So uh, we are slightly producing enough to hemp to supply to these houses as well. I'm still in debt and the workers clamor for their wages. If I don't get out of debt soon, I could be very unpopular indeed. With money, you are a dragon. Without money, you are a bug. Okay, ooh. Please excuse the interruption. Gamer Zack, an emissary from Xiang asks permission to enter your city. His intentions may be peaceful or he may present a threat to your home. Wow, permit, execute, or refuse. Okay, I'm gonna permit. It's from Xiang. Greetings, Gimzak. I, Dao Wan of Xiang, wish to offer you a small gift of 860 cash. Please accept it with my compliments. Yes, please. Thank you. I'm almost out of debt thanks to that. Whew. Um, I think, because I'm, I'm now selling maximum each year, and I'm still in debt. So I think this mission is not designed to be able to m support yourself at this point. Because I'm, I'm like building as much as I can and selling as much as I can and I can't get myself out of debt or support myself financially. So um, I think there's some of that cash giving built into this mission uh, that's harvest season for the hemp and we should get a whole bunch. We see, you can see five was left over from the previous year and we actually sold 29 units from last year's harvest. So, let's see how much we get this year. Okay, here we go. Looking at the hemp supplies we've got, we've got 2,400 stored straight up in this uh, trading warehouse. So we've got the year's supply, and we've got 700 left over, and we've even got two loads left in this hemp farm. Why are there two loads left there? I'm not too sure. Uh, but our millet supplies are also holding up. You can see we still got a bit of food as we approach harvest season. And there we go, buy all that hemp, get me back into the white. Come on, second caravan. <laughs> For the first time in ages, we are not in debt. Whew. Ah, that's good. Uh, we sold 21 out of 24 for this year for hemp. Okay, good. We are now back into not debt anymore. We still need more employees, but to evolve these houses, I need to um, provide a second source of food. Which is going to be tricky to do, um, considering... Well, actually, I don't need so much ceramics. I've actually way overproduced that. Oh, pay homage to an ancestral hero before they grow angry. Okay, Nuwa. Millet. Why can't I give ceramics? Okay, I'm going to get some ceramics into this warehouse so I can... Uh, let's see. Ceramics. Not selling. Are you going to get it into the warehouse? Okay, because I want to give ceramics as a gift. Okay, so let's see. Unhappy, let's give ceramics medium, and I'm going to give Shennong medium as well. Contented, good. So next month, I'll give Shennong and keep people happy. Okay, here we go. Another medium gift to Shennong. They're both contented. Good, I can turn trading back on again. Ceramic set to accepting, and ceramic set to selling. There we go. It still says we've sold 12 out of 12, so we can't actually sell anymore. We're slightly in debt. Meanwhile, to get my employment problems sorted, because we do need a lot of people, I put down four hunter's tents. So they're gonna go ahead and kill these pheasants and bring some meat into this area here, so that we can actually provide a second source of food. Uh, okay, New Year's has arrived. Still no entertainment. Sorry about that. Uh, but here we go. Uh, well, you can see we got plenty of hemp, like an excess of hemp. I should probably be giving that to the gods, really. But let's see, can we sell stuff? Okay, things have reset. So this trader is going to get me back into the white. Plenty of hemp to sell. Meat's coming in, but uh, this is common market square, still set to selling bland food. Money's in, and ooh. 
Greetings Gimzak explorers have returned from abroad and report they have discovered a place called Banpo. Banpo, you're still there, are you? Ah, oh, looks like it's not a big enough city, but ah, Banpo, when it opens up for trade, we should be able to start making even more money. And there we go. For the first time in ages, we actually have some cash to play around with. Now, come on Hunter's Tents, get this meat in here. Oh, they actually slaughtered all the pheasants in this area. You have to now walk over here to get it. Right, they're getting pheasants from all over the map. Okay, so once a decent supply of meat is in, I'm gonna set this... Actually, I can go ahead and set this to... Sell plain food. There we go. And once the meat is distributed, these houses should evolve, as far as I know. And then I think uh, food is the hardest thing to supply. I think they, after that they need music and stuff like that. So, I'll uh, wait till this, till this food is distributed, some money is coming back in, and uh, the gods are happy. Things are back on track. Alright, they're feeling neglected, but never mind. Ooh, people call you the greatest ruler in history. Haha, <laughs> and hygiene is very good and improving. So now that I've actually got cash, I can increase the wages. I set it to very high, so we don't need that many workers. And these houses now, uh, I, it's another annoying thing, they require hemp, which is basically another farming resource. Getting resources like that is always the trickiest. I mean, things like um, the meat is easy to get, but hemp, you really have to wait for seasons along with millet. So seasons really do throw things off. But once this hemp supply comes in, this hemp shop can go grab some and these houses can evolve and my employment problems will be solved. And uh, then I can also boost my ceramics production as well. I, I actually want to put that back down. I, I like overproducing ceramics. It, it's, it's nice. And ooh, an emissary from Xiang has come to enter the city. Okay. Hello? Ooh, I Dao Wang of Xiang wish to offer you a small gift of 1085 cash. Please accept it with my compliments. Thank you. Ah. That pretty much solves so many of my problems. Ah, I'm actually at 1,412 now. And look at this lovely crop of hemp because I have set agriculture to high priority. Commerce and industry sort of suffer, but uh, never mind. Okay, here we go. Houses are evolving and they just need music to evolve further. So let's go ahead and put down a music school. And can I fit it here? I can, okay. Might as well use up this space because uh, it's bad feng shui for houses. So, I can put down the music school there. And then these houses... Actually, that musician should walk along this way and evolve these houses earlier than everyone else. But there we go, we're going into attractive cottages. Extra room for nine. Ah, that should solve our uh, employment problem. Because we need 90... We need a lot of workers, actually, because this is on wage rate very high. Ah, uh, there you go. There's the musicians going down the spacious dwellings. They need appetizing food before they can evolve, which uh, we don't need. Meat was super overproduced, so I actually deleted one of the, the hunter's tents. But actually, now that they're in spacious dwellings, let's review goals. We've actually produced plenty of ceramics, so we're gonna win as soon as these houses evolve. Haha! <laughs> Perfect! Come on, guys. Get to evolving. Why aren't these houses evolving? Appeal of the neighborhood. Ah, right. Now that we actually got cash. Let's go ahead and do this. Boom. Gardens. You like that? There we go. Look at the evolution. Come on, evolve more. Oh, it's it's more of a music issue. There we go, the musician's going by. And there we go. What a lovely city I've built. Well, <laughs> it's the, uh, pretty good considering, you know, all things considered. There we go, they're all evolved, which means we should win. The town of Bo thrives. As town architect and administrator, it is a job well done. So well done, in fact, that even King Tang has heard of your management skills. Now it seems he has need of your valuable services elsewhere. All right, well, there we go. We got 600 people in spacious dwellings or better. This map was surprisingly difficult, mainly to do with uh, the money being earned. It just didn't have enough money coming in. Up until Xiang decided to give me a whole bunch of cash, which sort of solved my problems, and the uh, uh, hemp trade increased. Uh, let's have a look at my scores here. So, um, tougher than expected, but I managed to make it through. And that's the end of the start of this dynasty. And uh, alright, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.